Hello everybody, it's Nicola here. Welcome to Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Starry Skies. This game was released in 2009 on the Nintendo DS, and it's one of my all-time favourite games. In my Let's Play series, I hope to cover all of the massive amount of content that this game has to offer, so if you want to play along, you can treat this as a 100% walkthrough. Otherwise, I hope you have fun watching. Let's get started. Alrighty, here we are on the title screen. Little fun fact before we start here is that if you let the intro cutscene play over and over, the game will actually change the title screen from daytime to evening and to nighttime. Just a cool little touch. Anyways, let's create a new adventure log. So here we get to create our main character. All of the characters that you can play with in this game are created by yourself, with a couple of exceptions. So let's design our main character, who I'm loosely going to base on myself here. So let's go for this hairstyle, which I'm going to make brown. The design options in this game are somewhat limited, but they're very cute at the same time, perhaps with the exception of these eyes right here. But definitely my favourite face are the little cute eyes. It just makes the character adorable. So let's select the palest skin tone and some green eyes. And here we have my character, who will of course be called Nicola. <laughs> I don't have my stylus, so I'm using the D-pad. Here we go. So this is my main character. Later I'll, I'll be designing three other party members, but that won't come until we're, we've progressed a little bit into the main story. So here we are. Let's go. Hello? Is anybody there? If you're there, say something. Show yourself. Thus do the voices of the mortals plead, ever hopeful of proof of our existence. For how long now have we watched over their realm? For how long have we Celestrians existed?
You have come far, Nicola. I must confess to having had my doubts when you became a guardian of the village in my stead. But its inhabitants continued peace and safety as proof of your devotion. When Apis Major bade me, Aquila, take Nicola as your apprentice. I never imagined I would see you bloom so. You are worthy of your title indeed, Nicola, guardian of Angel Falls. Hmm? Ha, <sighs> ha. Don't ever get old, my dear Erin. You don't want to get old. Oh, Grandpa, it's not much further now. I'm sure you'll make it. These wicked creatures must not be allowed to ambush innocent members of your flock, Nicola. Come, Guardian Angel Falls, it is time to fulfil our duty as Celestrians. Welcome to our first battle of the game. Now usually I'm going to be putting on screen some information about monsters that you find in this world, however since this is the tutorial battle I'll be skipping out of it for this one time. But we have some slimes and a cruel cumber to fight, so let's just press attack. Aquilo is much stronger than us, he's level 20 whereas we are level 1. And he'll heal us up if we take any damage, so as far as I'm aware it is just completely impossible to lose this fight without cheating. He just completely destroys that cruel cumber. Maybe I can manage to take out this slime. There we go. We got one. We did our bit. There we go. Defeated. Dude, no way I got a treasure chest drop. That's so cool. <laughs> See, Grandpa, there's Angel Falls up ahead. Ah, uh, I honestly believed I'd never set my tired old eyes on the place again, but here we are at last, home. Oh, don't be so melodramatic, Grandpa. The village guardian will have been watching over us all the way. Nothing bad could have happened to us. Benevolent Nicola, thank you for protecting us on our journey. Behold, Nicola, benevolence. The crystallization of the mortals' gratitude towards we who watch over them. As Celestrians, our cardinal duty is the offering of this sacred substance unto the mighty Yggdrasil, the world tree. Come, Nicola, let us return to the observatory, that you may make your offering. The first task a guardian must perform upon returning from the Protectorate is to report to Apis Major. As unchanging as the North Star, you shall find him in the Great Hall. I have other matters to attend to. You must excuse me. Perfect. So we find ourselves now in the Observatory, which is kind of our main hub for the moment. 
And also the music that's playing right now is one of the best songs in this game and it is gorgeous. So let's enjoy it while we're here. First thing I'm going to do is go into the miscellaneous menu and I'm going to head to tactics and change my colour to turquoise. Very important gameplay, here we go, <laughs> to start off here. Um, but we can do a little bit of exploring around the observatory. There's lots of other Celestrians here. Nicola, is it true that mortals cannot see us Celestrians? It is. Truly, so they do not see us, even if we stand right before their eyes? What feeble beings! Yeah, well we had to save them earlier from monsters, so they do seem to be somewhat feeble. Starlight be with you. So this guy will actually heal your HP, although there's no particular reason to do so at this moment. It's just interesting that they have this person here to start off with. Also back here, um, there's quite a lot of rooms. I won't be looking in all of them because aside from just figuring out what the heck's going on, um, there's not that much to collect in terms of items, but we will be picking up the ones that are here. And this room here is a save point, so in this game you can save by heading to a prayer room and um, do a confession and it will save your adventure log. You can also find out how much experience you need to head to the next level and also be healed of any status ailments that cannot be healed with items and other things. Again, we don't particularly need to do this right now, but it's just nice to show that it's here. So let's pick up a couple items that are dotted around the place and then we'll go and head upstairs and find Apis Major. So in this room we have some barrels to smash and pots and whatnot. Something that usually doesn't give us incredibly valuable items but early on in the game it's good to do so. There's also a red chest which contains a chimera wing which will teleport you back to the a town of your choosing. Um, there are different kinds of chests in this game. Red ones can only be opened once, however blue ones can be opened multiple times after a certain amount of time has passed. So we'll get more into that later. For now let's head upstairs. Hello. Greetings Nicola, you've been to the realm beneath, have you not? As I am sure you are well aware, mortals are unable to see we Celestrians. Nonetheless, there are still many among them who believe in our existence. How can this be? Well, some of them have faith, I suppose. Hey, look who it is. I was surprised to hear of Nicola's promotion. I did not expect you to permit it so soon. You assume too much, Columba. I also believe it is too soon for her to take on a guardianship. It was Apis Major's decision. Indeed, how amusing. I might have known. It is no laughing matter. Nicola is but a fledgling. What if something were to happen in the Protectorate? Do you forget the tragedy of Corvus so soon? No, of course not, but... We've been forbidden to talk of that matter here in the observatory, have we not? Nicola, how long have you been standing there? Oh, you know, long enough. <laughs> Why do you stand idle, Nicola? You have yet to make your report to Apis Major. Do you really wish to keep him waiting? Make haste! He is in the Great Hall just beside us here. Congratulations on being appointed a guardian, Nicola. Of course I never doubted you. You are Aquila's handpick apprentice, after all. To be chosen by one who refused for so long to take on a pupil speaks volumes of your ability. Well, that's interesting. My teacher Columba and your teacher Aquila are close, are they not? I understand they've been debating their differences in good-natured argument for as long as anyone can remember. So yeah, this place is full of apprentices and their, their um, masters, I suppose you could call them. Uh, no, we're good for now. Out, be gone, child. All right, geez. Let's go see Apis Major. Well met, Nicola, apprentice of Aquila. Welcome back, Nicola. I trust your absence has not been so lengthy that you forgot your old master, Apis Major. My congratulations on successfully completing your first task as a guardian, Nicola. You have performed your duties well thus far, albeit under Aquila's watchful gaze. But the time has come for you to spread your own wings. What say you? Are you ready to undertake your duties alone? I believe so. Ho ho ho, I see you are a confident apprentice, Nicola. Very good. The young have confidence where the old have experience. And so we come to the next of your duties. I believe you have acquired a crystal of benevolence, have you not? The essence of mortal gratitude. 
we must offer it unto the great world tree Yggdrasil, who shelters us with her nurturing boughs from atop the observatory. Alright, let's head upstairs yet again. The observatory is very tall, we had to fly a long way up here. Ah. Hello. When I gaze at the heavens, a shooting star of incomparable brightness often carves a strange path through the night sky. What could this heavenly body so swift and yet so purposeful be? Very mysterious. So this is actually a very large area and we have a couple of things we can pick up if we take the time to run around it. So let's head over to the far right side here and we have a secret, well, somewhat secret treasure chest. So we have a waker robin, which will awaken us from sleep. Status effects aren't incredibly common in this game, but it is good to have items regardless of whether or not you use them for healing, because a lot of items will be used for crafting later on. It's very important, so it's good to pick up as much stuff as we can while we're around here. So I think we have to go down for another treasure chest here on the left. Here we go. 50 gold coins. Money is fairly important in this game. Um, there are ways of collecting it using crafting, um, which are a little bit sneaky. So money isn't too much of an issue until you need it. And in that case, there are ways to make money fairly quickly. But sometimes you will find them for chests as well. And a file of holy water is quite an interesting item, we'll maybe talk about that a little bit more later on here. Because we need to head upstairs and head over to Yggdrasil to make our offering. Thank you friend, I wish to pass. Almost at the top now. And there she is, the mighty Yggdrasil. Let us offer the benevolence. Behold, Nicola. Is Yggdrasil unto whom we offer the benevolence we gather not truly beautiful? Gathering and offering up benevolence is the most sacred duty with which we guardians are charged. I trust you'll perform your duties well, Nicola, guardian of Angel Falls. Well, thank you, friend. I have been thinking, Nicola, Guardian of Angel Falls. To address you as Guardian of Angel Falls is both convoluted and inconvenient. You will henceforth allow me to use this form of address when only when only when formality dictates it. Sure. Good. It is well that you succumb to my recommendation so readily, my people. As you are aware, the law forbids a Celestrian to oppose a superior. Now, go to Apis Major and tell him of the successful completion of your task. Alright, let's head back down. I know I mentioned it already, but this music is so beautiful. I love it so much. I wouldn't say that this game has an outstanding soundtrack, but there are definitely a few one-off songs that are really lovely, and this is definitely one of them for me. So let's climb all the way back down. And we'll go back and talk to Apis Major once again. Well done, Nicola. And how did mighty Yggdrasil appear to you? She was fiercely aglow? Ho ho ho, it seems the time may soon be upon us. 
as I am sure you are aware it is we Celestrians' duty to tend mighty Yggdrasil until such a time as she bears fruit. It is to this end that guardians watch over mortal kind and gather benevolence. And now, Nicola, guardian of Angel Falls, I believe you know what you must do next. You are to return to the Protectorate and continue to gather benevolence, this time without Aquila to accompany you. Make ready and then speak with the female Celestrian who stands guard over the great portal on the floor below. May all the bodies of the heavens watch over you, Nicola, guardian of Angel Falls. Thank you, Apis Major. It's very kind of you. So yes, we must head back down to the Protectorate and gather some more benevolence to continue to offer up to Yggdrasil. Also, there's a super secret door here. Wow, amazing! <laughs> and a red treasure chest which contains a seed of life. Now these are actually really interesting items. You can find these seeds and they actually increase your stats permanently. I'm just going to be holding on to these for now and not using them. And I'm just going to store them until the end of the game. But aside from that, we're pretty much done here for the first part of this series. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, it's always a little bit of a slow start with tutorials and such but I think we're making good progress, so I'm going to leave it here for today. Next time, we will head back down to the Protectorate and continue to look after our mortal flock. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next video.